Hi, in this video, I want to show you this book I have. It's called Real and Abstract Analysis, and it was written by Hewitt and Stromberg. So this is a book that a person could use in a first year graduate course on analysis. That's right, this is a graduate level book, so it's very, very advanced. The um, presentation, like the ordering of topics, is a little bit different than, for example, some of my other analysis books which makes it kind of interesting. This is an older first edition, and it does actually have the dust jacket. I don't recall where I got this book, but I kind of feel like I bought it at a physical bookstore. I love the yellow, right? Look how, look how cool that is, right? It's really nice. Nice, elegant book with a dust jacket. And, you know, before we go to the contents, let me just say that there's not that many books on this subject. So if you are in a measure theory class or real analysis class, at the graduate level and you're trying to learn and you're struggling, my advice is get as many books as you can afford. Uh, unfortunately, some of these are expensive. Some of the analysis books, they tend to cost more than a lot of the more uh, basic books. Here's the inside of it. And let's take a look at the copyright. I believe this is from 65. Yeah, 1965, cool, right? It's a long time ago. And here are the contents so you can see what it contains. So it starts with sets. It does a really good job of reviewing a bunch of stuff. It's a very, very um, dense book. It covers a lot of material quickly and correctly. So chapter one is on set theory and algebra. Two is on topology and continuous functions. Three is on the Lebesgue integral. Four is on function spaces and Bonnach spaces. Five is on differentiation. And six is on integration on product spaces. And the preface does indicate it is intended for a graduate course. Let me show you. This book is, first of all, designed as a text for the first course, for the course usually called Theory of Functions of a Real Variable. This course is at present customarily offered as a first or second year graduate course in United States universities, although there are signs that this sort of analysis will soon penetrate upper division undergraduate curricula. Yeah. Yeah, there are some, you, you could, in theory, do as an undergrad some of these topics. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's got a lot of mathematics, right? There's a lot of mathematics in here. I'm sorry, I got to give it a whip here. Just, ah, this book smells so, such a clean copy. Yeah, this is nice. Look at all this math. Look at these inequalities here. Zoom in here. Look at this. Cool. Yep. That's analysis. <laughs> so if you've studied it, you know what I mean? Beautiful stuff. And unfortunately, this book uh, does not have answers in the back of the book, which is very common among these uh, more advanced books. So yeah, I just wanted to show you this book. It exists. It's out there. You could use it to help you learn analysis. Is it easy? No. Um, but it's a book on the subject, and it's good. It will help you, right? Because learning this stuff is really, really hard. Anyways, I'll keep this video short. I just wanted to show you one of the books from my collection. I don't know if I've ever talked about this one. Subscribe, like, share, all that stuff. Also, um, if you want to learn math, check out my courses. The links are in the description of this video. Take care.